I knew you from, but I saw you a lot of times. Well, yeah, and I, when I, I heard I that, who knew where I said, oh my yeah, God, I, I knew a, I recognized him. <laughs> I have a vague memory when you say BJ and you're telling me about your relationship. I have kind of a vague memory. Shush. I can't say it's real sharp, but yeah, as you talk, and this is the way now, it is, if you we, start losing you your mind, living when, it takes a while to I sink in and kind of you were not living here make when, the connection. When I knew Ken, where are you living? Where are you living? The other house. See. Ken, Ken, oh, 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 wait a minute. How far back are you talking? When I was pretty little. So, Ken's how many years ago? 50 years. More than 50 years. 50 years ago? Okay, so I'd have been uh, 22. Was that have been, was that have been near Walter Reed? Well, I've been in college, so. Or, or no, but where would we have lived if she's talking about? Well, well we were only lived in Walter Reed and Silver Spring. Spring. Well, it was in the downtown area or the Silver Spring. So right. it was right. one of those. Right. Kenny said Silver Spring. I mean, David said Silver Wow. Spring. I know. BJ. Yeah. That he wants we were to get another hug. We were little. Just go in there and sit. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. That was before I could even drive. All right. So, wow. Little. I know. So see, were we about that's the same? Why you were Do you young. think we're about the same age? I, I'm 65. Everybody. Oh, you're young. You're a babe. Uh, I'm you're set. So with 10 years. I'm 72 going on. Okay. Lower. Seven years. I'm going on 66 in September. Okay. Where does the time go? I'm how telling you. How has life? Because Come I haven't by. seen you since then, I don't think. Wow. So you would have like, you weren't from there? It was a visit? Was it a visit? Well, I lived in Allentown and went to Blue Mountain Academy. You did? I went to Blue Mountain too. I, I know, but that was I was 72. Wow. So wow. you were gone. Yes. When I was <coughs> gone. But it was still kind of, I think it was still pretty much the same. Because we had like 400 students when I was there. About 100 in each class. What did you have? We, uh, we at the time, we had the largest class of 100. Is that exactly yeah, how the senior class of one? And the class of 64, they just had the 55th year, uh, which I didn't go back to this year, but my friend did. Um, so 72, where would we have been in 72? So I would have just finished the seminary. Yeah, see. 70, 71, and I would have begun my first pastorate in southwestern Pennsylvania. Yeah. Uniontown, Charleroi, Little Washington. I'm wow. I, I see, I have the wow. Wow. Well, when I saw you, I'm pretty sure that probably the day first day. day. brother, but when they said, yeah, that's Ken, I said, oh my God. Because I was 19. Yeah. We were so young. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's yeah. now we're so old. Yeah. 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 I've got a 45 year old son. When you're married. He's going to show up this afternoon. I had to You're going to be here. He looks like the prophet Jeremiah. He's got a beard like this. Even when it's so hot. Where do you live? We live in Michigan. We're up at Andrew Noyan University. Oh, you were so I, yes. I, I <laughs> taught there. For, well, it's been 25 years since we moved up there. And um, it's I still Orlando. teach yeah, uh, I know uh, one course a semester. Up there. Uh -huh. really? So I'm retired from full time, but I, I still teach that. Wow. I'm I was supposed to teach in the fall, but notes. I'm thinking maybe oh, yeah. years, but I, it was some time I, I love teaching. I love the students and all, but we live in the area there. I was born in New Jersey. I just I went to New Jersey. Born in California. California. So I was out in New Jersey. Actually, after the last year and one more year, um, my wife and I are living in Lynn to take me to my aunt and her sister that both have dementia. They're 97 and 98. And can't we? They're wonderful. Mentally, they're not. My aunt is loves her so much, and my sister hates me so much. So I'm having a hard time. Really? Well, we used to. I mean, we went back. We used to say that. But now we don't say that. She's mad that I'm there. And she tells everyone I don't live there. I don't do anything. Really? Where do you go then? When she talks to her sister, she says, "I don't know why they're parking in the garage. Nobody's paying me any rent." 
Kids of, of Ted, days, and now they they've got Ted. grown kids Mommy, with boyfriends friends or spouses. Yeah. How much did you have it's a little with scary. She said she used to write in her face. Oh, 
Do you remember Ann Filler making up writing one act play? I, I don't remember. She talked about it. Because I was kind of not Hollywood, North Hollywood. And then uh, Studio City. He had an office at North Hollywood and Studio City. Mount Healthy. It's kind of run down now. But since then, I think it's all been different and much in Hollywood. He had that big swimming pool in my studio too. But I had to really insist on seeing him or she was in the pool. <laughs> but when I was there with Sheridan one time, as a baby, she told me, never leave him alone with me. Aunt Delora told me one time, when I took Sheridan with me as a baby, she was in the seat, you know. She told me never to leave me at him alone with her. Yeah, who alone? Aunt yeah, Delora. Sheridan as a baby. She told me to never leave her alone with me. She's lying. Well, I don't know. Have to be hard to take. She may not know. Want to be. Well, of course we wouldn't. Well, well she always out, said he had to say things. And say things. Say things that well, the, thing, the, the, the problem was Aunt Delora wanted a child. She I didn't never know was that able that to have a child. So that was a big thing for me. That was a big thing for me. I didn't know, remember that. Yeah, I'd love but that. she played with him. She'd sit down and play with him. I, I think it was strictly a matter that she wanted a child and never was able to. Maybe it's because she's afraid she would share something with something more. Because she did, she always bragged about his, the way his head was shaped and how smart he was going to be. And I mean, she was kind of kooky in that way. She, she was. She was kooky in that way. Yeah. I and then I, when I think all, she wanted to have children. Yeah. Well, well, see, and I thought she always wanted children. They never yeah. could have children. And she was always a little jealous of Uncle Fred. And that, when the one time when he got sick, before he got sick, before he had that accident, had that brain injury, or whatever. When he got sick in the hospital, she insisted that I leave my job and come up and take care of him. I did. I went up. And I was you did? About a week. And she sat over in a little corner, watching everything we did. <laughs> well, and I wasn't doing much. He was in the hospital. She went there. Oh yeah, I went up there quite a few times. But that's why I said I wondered how much of a connection we had. I never did know. Here, I think. I think that Thanksgiving so day that we had dinner and it was sweeting. Well, I think I did it, I think we did it before. We came with the motor home one time for the kids. So, I don't know if you were here. Yeah. You may have been well, at school. Yeah. We were in the motor home. We, I think I was coming back and back to the home. I think he was away at school. I think he was away at school. Yeah, he probably did. But, but also, I remember. You know, vanity. I those vanity, things. vanity. <laughs> but anyway. Nice to see nice. you, BJ. Oh, man. Over there. Over there. Oh, okay. Anywhere over there. Oh, we're over there. But it, she was, she was oh, odd. But she, she yep. wanted me to come. She insisted. Of oh. course, I had a hard time getting off work to do it. Oh, am I missing some of the stories now? Okay. Hold on. Oh, and Uncle goodness. Ted, I don't know how much he realized I was there, but um, he had a um, person that did his accounting, mm -hmm. and he had a caregiver that came in and did things. And this was all right about the time before he died. Who are we talking about? Uncle, Uncle, Ted. Uncle, Ted. Uncle, Ted? Uncle Ted. Uncle Ted? Uncle Ted. Uncle Ted, the Ted. dermatologist. Oh, yeah, 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 Ted. Okay. And um, well, what it like to uh, leave? Yeah, she did, I told him. But she did what we do is when we go to visit, Virgil would go to spend with her and I'd be visiting with Uncle Ted and then we'd change places. And that I would worked visit out pretty him. good. Yeah, that worked out. Oh, wait a minute. Ted friend. is different than Uncle Ted. Uncle Kenneth. Ted. Uncle Ted. We also call him Ted. I don't you think I yeah, I'm yeah, Uncle Ted. Uncle Ted or Ken. He's the one that bought all, all those big box candy with the calendar on it. One time he gave that to us. You guys must have known him as Ted. Why, why Ted and why Ken? Was it a middle I don't age? Know. I don't know. <laughs> You're supposed to know. 
I thought you were talking about Gilbert. No, that's Gilbert. Gilbert. You used to pick cherries out on the Gilbert. Really? Big, big red, green cherries. I just remember that. that was, Gilbert was more his like His life that. inspired yeah. David to become a pathologist because he was kind of a plant pathologist. Yeah. Yeah. Disease. What, what about that now you just said? Well, Uncle Gilbert was more like that, I think. Oh, he was? I mean, well, what was Uncle Ken like? Because I never really knew Uncle Ken. He was well. quiet. He walked with a cane, he had polio, and he had, he had a phrase. All right, that I know, but his first part is his personality. And, What's and, and Kenny and, and yeah. Tell me, Kenny and I and Dad drove out to California and we stopped at Uncle Ken. Ken? We have a picture. You mean Ken? Ken? My Ken. I thought it was you, but maybe it wasn't. You okay, see, I, you are the only one that calls me Kenny, so I have to get, first of all, used to being called Kenny. Well, it seems to me Everybody in New Jersey knew me as Kenny. See, I go back there and I'm Kenny. But, so I'm just... I think it was you. Somebody else said there's a Kenny in the family, a Ken in the family, so I have to check and see if you're talking about me or some other person. I think it was person. you, because I don't think it was David. So what did we do? We went to California and we took a trip with Dad and me and I. And we stopped at Uncle Ken. We had a picture of him. Yes, it was. And well, I definitely remember visiting them. I didn't remember you in the picture. But I, I probably did. I may not have been in the picture. I don't know. Anyway, the whole story was. Mean, when he says picture, he's not talking about a picture he's talking about. Yeah, that, that, picture. that particular story. In other words, there are a, a number of times we went to see him. I bet I only visited twice with, with Uncle Ken. Or t well, let's see, or... she called me. How I got to California in the first place, I went by plane. And I had I missed my flight to Fresno because the flight didn't connect. So it took six hours of me waiting in the LA airport to get a flight to Fresno to Joy's house. Where and did you fly at out? That, so I don't know. I was. Joy went work. by train, right? Didn't I she went go by, by train? train. I worked my train. way. I worked in a produce place. I breaded clams and carrots. I grated and potatoes. I peeled and stuff like that. Work, packaged it for a ticket. For a ticket, and I bought my clothes. This is the little work that I had. Well, you must have gone from Philadelphia. I, I did. Were there any trains coming? It was Philadelphia. Philadelphia. And then when I. Uh, See, I might get my story mixed up. But anyway, that's how I got there. And I saw Bob Hope. That was the only movie yeah. stuff I saw. But when I went to Uncle Ken's, he drove me around a number of times to see the, no, the movie star and actors. And some of the people he knew to be treated. Because he was on the dermatology range. He was the dermatologist for these famous people, right? I guess, because he knew about them. But anyway, and then this one time that I was supposed to go see Aunt Dolores, I think I rode the bus, and I had to get off in this dark little town that must have been 50 or 60 miles from her house. And you know, Aunt, you know how Aunt Dolores was. She was very uncertain, but she got me to get on that bus, and I was left off in this dark little town, no, nothing open. And she told me she'd call me a cab, and I waited there in that dark, scary time. In this day and age, that wasn't it. Oh. And uh, finally, this guy came in a cab, and she had me take this cab ride from her house, I mean, from the bus station to her house. I think it was 50 or 60 miles. I think it was took us a little while. Wow. But see, she, I don't think she drove. So did, did they take you under the wing there? No, or? I don't think so. I think she just liked to have me come out. I'd go up. So you go up and visit on yeah. the weekends or something? Not very often, but once in a while. I don't remember all the details. But you became kind of close to them all Well, then when Virgil and I got married, then she had to come out more. Because, <laughs> like I told you, I'd, I'd get this call and say, did you see that book under the seat? And I'd say, no. Well, you better go out and look, because there's a check in there. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> She didn't know how to draw checks. Or she, one time when we moved to Kansas, she hired a big tractor trailer and brought uh, the, the, the mower, 
mower and plow thing. I don't know what all the trees. There were some trees. I don't know what all was on there. Send but this to you guys. That's the start our home. She really took an interest in you. Yeah, I don't even remember all the this, details. This young married couple. Maybe but we still food. have that tractor. We still use it. No, we don't. She says your tractor. A I tractor a and a plow. It was a little, no. It's just a little like John Deere, probably. No, it was and a little, little wagon. Smaller than that. It's a little thing, isn't it? It's like a lawnmower, only it's a tractor. Yeah. Okay. Well, that must have been pretty surprising. And well, she'd call so us up there, and I'd go out and help her cut trees and stuff like that. She wanted to give us her house. She did. And I said, we can't afford it. <laughs> well, they didn't afford taxes on us. They lived in Studio City. Studio City. 114, 946 or something. Sunshine Hill. Studio City. But um, I thought I could take that house. And then she said, well, build my little house next door and you live here. And I was well, like, no. she must have really liked you. Yeah, I said, there's no possibility we could do well, that. Well, they were lying, by the way. Well, well they Uncle were. Ted always called me the jumping jack. Yeah. Back in the box. I never really knew Aunt Dolores very well. She, she seemed she to be strange. a... She seemed a little strange. Yeah. You're not strange, but she seemed a little I strange know. to me. She's bipolar. Oh, she was bipolar? She was bipolar. Is that right? I didn't know. Oh. David may not see her. Aunt Dolores. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uncle Ted, Uncle Ken's wife. <laughs> she would she would call us to come up, and we'd tell her, and she'd say, I don't even want you here. And I'd say, no, I'm not leaving until I see Uncle Ted. And we had to wait until he came from the office. Because I don't think we knew where he worked at that time in the office. We learned later, but I think I went to his office maybe once. I just remember we visited there. It was it had the to be quite a bit later. Oh, it was I was ten years old. Yeah, you. We did. visited them, and uh, Vernon, Vernon, yeah, Vernon, Parker. Vernon oh, right. uh, Pfeiffer, yeah, awesome. Pfeiffer. Right. He, we took him along. We went out to California in the 1955. Who's we? Who's knew we? mom and dad, uh, mom and dad, and Ver and they they brought um, Vernon along. I didn't remember because he was Vernon, close to my age. Yes, he was. To keep me entertained. He's into cars and, and, and vehicles. And, and we went out to see all the family. And came back, and to me that was like a big eye-opening experience. I was ten. I met little uh, Candy, and I I kind of had a crush on my. Cousin Candy uh, and and Vernon and he, she hit it off and I was a little jealous, you know. And anyway, when we went to Lord's place, we had a great time and I'm glad Vernon came along. It made such a difference oh, for me it. and I'm sure he loved it. But when we went when we went and we went from Dolores, she gave us big boxes of pepper, uh, cracker jack. Oh, I wouldn't doubt it. Popcorn. It was that like insane, like a, and I think a lot like of other candies. And Whatever she did was uh, unusually. It was extreme. Except she was, wrapped yeah, five and ten and fifteen dollars or for fifty dollars around the stems of glasses, and sent me with glasses. I didn't know I had money on them. <laughs> was really? Yeah. So we. So we she was very generous. Cracker Jack crackers. She was generous and kind-hearted, which is yeah. clear. Great. But you know, it bothers it bothers Great. me because. That caregiver, I think, stole from them, and so did your accountant. Who? The, the accountant. Yeah, Uncle Ted's accountant. I think he did Uncle Ted in, or maybe just what he because he had property and stuff, you know, that left them out. She used to talk about it. What what happened? Well, I, I, what, why died. did he die? He had a blood clot. I don't remember if that's exactly the one time he died, but he had a car accident in his head. He didn't have time to leave. That's when I went out to his care. So that that just said. But one time she and I confronted him because she was jealous of Uncle Ted because apparently he had a girl he was ranching and had bought her a car, and Aunt Dolores was upset about it. And I said, well, Aunt Dolores, if you would dress more feminine. I remember you saying told that. that. Yeah. I told her, if you would dress more feminine, maybe, you know, be more attractive to him. Oh, my goodness. You told her this is straight truth. I wonder if she was happy. 
She wasn't happy with that. Oh, I guess. She was fine. She started changing a little on her dress. She gave me some pretty clothes. Wait. What? Uh, stuff like sandwich. What would you like on it? Oh, I I like a the vegetables, or is it could be. Is that, who's going for it? Oh yeah, I get I get the one that Virgos don't get on on mine. Well, I have some guinea gowns. I'm not sure. I know them. Uh, okay, so they have oh, uh, pepper jack. You get pepper jack. Yeah, they can. They have American pepper jack and. Okay. What else? I just was at Subway recently. Anyway, I was just a little on the side of Uncle Ted. I didn't know all. I, I knew you had a connection, but I didn't remember. But she's the one, Uncle Ted, or she, was the one that gave us a couple thousand dollars to come and brought a murder home. Because Virgil was going to school at the time. And she, well, she was a generous person. Yeah, she tried to help us out a little bit. <laughs> she was generous, but she was cookie. Yeah. <laughs> now, so that, when, so when, that when she died, did you got like help with the RV? Or when no, he before. died? And so before before it, was it was it when he died? died? Yeah. 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 This is what I remember about you guys. You and your family, all over the place. Jesus, everything. And then when she died, she told me that I was taking a lot of her car. And it was his toy. He had a park in the garage. And I wouldn't take it. She wanted you to take it? She wanted me to take it. I think there's a lead option. And I said, no, I don't take it. What, what is it? Well, yeah, why well, take that with him? Well, was he conscious? So oh, was he Virgil and I would take turns yeah. visiting uh, with him. And kind of the, was he did, was he aware that she was trying to give it away? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so yeah. I wouldn't take it. Yeah. Right? Before she died, is when she wanted to take the house. Would you do like a like a it shows that she appreciates it. Yeah, well, I, I, ne I never felt like it. We could afford it anyway. Like the oil, oil there. Like keeping it up. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But she might have built us a little house and she just came in and she was raising. Well, it shows that you got. It shows that you gave them a lot of important attention and kindness. And then she returned that. She returned that in the ways that she could. She, she does do dressing, like she liked her. Right. I don't think about that. Because yeah. he, he, he was a teaser. He, she liked him because he was a teaser, I bet. Probably. But, but uh, she wanted to help us because he was going to school. He went to school and got it. And she was really a good person. Virgil went to school? Now tell me what story you heard when she ten years old and she came over and her dad deserted her. Right inside my diploma. Well, she told us that story, but I don't know how much trouble it was. What were you studying? I I wouldn't. I believe you. I didn't know if you even she ever told you. I was in. Did she tell you she worked as a down in the mortuary? I don't remember any of that. Wait, what kind of cheese do you want? Tell us what you want. It could be the, the hot cheese. I don't know what it's called. See, I don't know what options you chose to have if you had more than one. Or... I know what Mrs. Rock is, actually. Yeah. Tell us about what cheese is. Their bed cheese is very simple, what they put on. I usually have them put on whatever vegetable yeah, they well, have. Yeah, well, ours is always the olives and the olives and olives and pickles and yeah. that, what, what is that, yeah. like green yeah. pepper green stuff? Like green pepper, do you like the banana pepper? Yeah, like, banana pepper's pretty good. Is that the, mm -hmm. is that mm -hmm. the mild mm -hmm. pepper? Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I like those. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so you yeah. don't remember yeah. that she said she worked in the mortuary? Yeah. Yeah, I remember something about that. Yeah. Did she? Did she ever tell you she wrote one of the?